Good morning, dear children. How are you all? I hope all the, my kids, lovely, lovely little angels, are safe at home. And uh, I know you all want to come to school. Even I want to meet you all. But let's study as the way we are studying, and let's gain more and more knowledge at home. Now, with this thing, I would like to request all my like the little angels to. please go through the videos most of the children are not at all watching the videos that's why you are not able to get the small small things discussed in the videos you are only able to write whatever is given in the pdf form or is given in the book there are lot more things that we discuss in the videos we go through when the explanation is going on there are more and more topics that we explain so please do watch the videos also now let's recall what we have studied you remember we were doing the chapter 13 rocks and minerals in which we will be studying about rocks minerals types of rocks and gemstones so we studied about the rocks that rocks are of two types hard rocks and soft rocks there are different shapes and size and colors of the rocks rocks are also found on the river bed or at the bottom of the sea and oceans so the rocks are of different shapes it is found in different different places and there are two types of rocks hard and soft rocks so you remember hard rocks like marble granite red sandstone these are all hard rocks these are uh, that means like red sandstone it is not as hard as marble or granite but it is also uh, hard now these are used for making various monuments these are used for various purposes and granite we use as the kitchen top you must remember that in the schools also there are lots of rocks on the floors at the back sides in the build in your school buildings so these are different types of like you remember we use blackboard and chalk these are also kind of a rocks only now let's read soft rocks rocks such as coal chalk and slate are soft rocks coal is a soft rock it is black in color it is used for cooking in household and in factories it is also used in steam engine to run train coal being used to cook now in winter season if some people they don't have blowers or they don't have like room heaters so what they do or they want to make food in the still villages they use wood or coal to prepare their food okay so they burn fire with that and with that they feel the warmth and even they prepare their food in that then coal also is being used in factories in different different factories coal is used to prepare different things then in steam engines the engines which give out steam coal is put inside them to move the chain now chalk is a kind of a soft rock you remember the white chalk that is used by us to write it on the blackboard it is a soft rock slate blackboard is another form of a slate only you have a small slate a big blackboard these are all soft rocks slate is used for making writing slate some people use slate to make the roof of their homes also limestone limestone is very soft and brittle it is used to make cement you remember what is cement do you know yes cement is the gray color you can say a powder or something which is brought in a packet and then it is used to make homes it is used to make decor items it is used to make pots so it is called cement now let's read now here the topic rocks is finished the hard rocks and the soft rocks so you can see writing slate slate used for blackboard writing slates chalk also on the blackboard we write with the chalk then roof tiles now can you read let us read about the minerals what is minerals we'll be reading about minerals minerals rocks are made up of minerals they are like the building blocks of rocks 
minerals are found in different colors sizes and shapes as rocks are found in different shapes and sizes and sometimes in color similarly minerals are also found in shapes and sizes and different colors sometimes more than one mineral is found in rock now in a rock sometimes more than one mineral is also found we'll read two uh, min two three minerals on this page then rest minerals we'll do in the next class quartz is one of the most common mineral it is found in granite quartz is the raw material used in making glass now it is the raw material used in making glass it is also used in clock and watches quartz is a kind of a mineral which is also used in clocks and watches mica in some rocks like granite makes them sparkle granite the kitchen top of your generally is used made up of granite so it is some more shinier than your floor na wow how because it has mica mica is used in the form of sheet as window glass or wood covers okay so it is used as a sheet mica to uh, if you see nowadays the wooden uh, tables have a very shiny or the doors have a very shiny layer on it it is sometimes mica is applied other than the paint before that a mica is also applied feldspar feldspar is found within granite as well it is used to make ceramic and glass you remember you have read ceramic pots nowadays a very fancy type of face elephants and uh, duck and turtles kinds of pots are coming in which pa your parents must be planting some new plants and all those pots are called ceramic pots that is made up of feldspar talc it is a softest mineral it is the softest mineral it is used to make talcum powder now the talcum powder is made up of which mineral talc now we'll be reading about diamond and graphite i tell you the diamond is the hardest mineral on the earth it is generally used for cutting the glass and graphite is uh, also a soft mineral so grain color we'll be reading about these minerals and later on about the gemstones in the next class till then you must read the topic soft and hard stone especially the soft stone which we have discussed today read about minerals quartz mica feldspar and tal and please go through the chapter read it please so see you in the next class children bye take care